Yankees, much like the Mets, see these New York baseball teams uh, both have shown a lot of resiliency this year. When you think that they're dead, they just come back. They just come back. Case in point, first of all, the Mets today win, winning, they're losing. Wright puts them up, RBI, 4-3, they beat the Marlins. Uh, they just keep on rolling right now. But I want to talk about the Yankee game here. Now, for seven innings going into the eighth, I'm sitting here as a Yankee fan going, you know what? We're three and a half now back of Toronto in the east. Still have a shot, but we're really going to have to put the pedal to the metal here if we, if we want to win the division. We have the lead in the wild card, but to me, barely. Uh, Texas scares me just because they're not losing. Not that they're really a scary baseball team, but they're just not losing. And the Twins, the Minnesota Twins, are not losing. So as a Yankee fan, I'm sitting there going, come on, guys, can you, can you lose games here? Twins are beating up on the Tigers, which are a joke of a baseball team. And Texas is going back forward to Houston, and Texas wins. So I'm sitting there going, are, are you kidding me, Yankees? We're going to get, the, the day that Sabathia pitches great, we're really getting no hit into the eighth? This is embarrassing. And Beltran breaks up the hit, uh, breaks up the no-hit bid, but nothing going there. Bottom eight, they give up the tie, and, they lo- and they're losing one nothing right now. Why Girardi didn't bring in Batances, I don't know. I think Girardi went to the book again and went to his little binder. He's got to stop for that because it's going to cost the Yankees uh, a big, big, big game and they and may cost them a playoff spot or a playoff game. He's got to stop with this. Well, let me go with this with the righty and the lefty. No, Joe, just go with the best. Just go with the best. So leadoff guy gets on for the Yankees. Ellsbury's 0 for his last 22. What would you do here? I'd bunt him. I'd bunt Ellsbury. Girardi doesn't bunt Ellsbury, hits into a double play, two out, nobody on. Now, if you're a Yankee fan, does this team have a pulse? And you're about an out away. You are one out away from a bad loss, and maybe a loss that's going to send you into a spiral. You know, you, you got the Mets coming up in City Field. They're rolling right now. You got to get these wins here versus Tampa. You know every team has won. Texas has won. Twins have won. Toronto's off, so you can gain ground on them by winning. And Gardner gets on, and A-Rod, RBI double. Clutch, and Seth Headcott, the kid, getting the three-run home run. 4-1, to one, Yankees win. Put that in the books. And... I've never seen the Yankee dugout this year as pumped as they were. That looked like a college baseball dugout. They were jumping up and down. That was a pumped up Yankees dugout. Because that game was that big. And that win was that big. That was a huge win. They lose that game. Well, you know what? Who knows? Who knows? But they win the game. Yankees battled. And the Yankees have showed you grit all year. All year. You know, I know people want to talk about the Mets. They're they're the darlings now. But you know what? Yankees were supposed to be nowhere. They were supposed to be dead last in their division. Oh, they're too old. Who is their pitching? What do the Yankees have? So, you know, before we anoint the Mets as the New York darlings... And before we anoint them World Series champions and, you know, the greatest baseball team to ever walk the face of the earth, this Yankees team, folks, was projected to do nothing by just about everybody. And they've come together. Nate Evaldi, who had 15 career wins coming into the season, has 14 and 15 this year. You know, they, they have just clicked. And even with the share out, A-Rod tonight showed how valuable he is to this club. And I bet Cashman's sitting there going, well, you know what? I was spat with this guy all year in the offseason. 
Thank God we didn't do anything stupid like buy him out. Because he has been a breath of fresh air. And he's just having fun playing baseball. And it is fun to watch. I'll tell you, my two favorite baseball players to watch this year are Alex Rodriguez and Bartolo Colon. My two favorite baseball players to watch this year. Because they love playing ball. You could see it. You watch them and they just enjoy. They're enjoying themselves right now. They are enjoy, they're having the time of their lives. That's cool. That's cool. So, Yankees get a big win 4-1. to one. The kid with the three-run homer. Yankees get it done. Uh, big two games here with Tampa. Uh, and then the Mets at City Field on Friday. So uh, Yankees got to pick up these wins here and hope that Texas and the Twins uh, start faltering here. If you're the Yankees, you want Houston to win that division. You don't want Keuchel or one-game playoff. Uh, Hamels, he's tough, but he doesn't scare me. Keuchel scares me. Keuchel gives the Yankees fits. So if you're the Yankees, you're rooting for the Astros to win this division here. 